I have lifted it up. Now it will result into the alarm. You can see well read this high high level which is on this system. Now you can see the discharge has been started. How to test the float of a sewage treatment plant on board? So as you can see here, this is the diagram, the basic diagram for a sewage treatment plant in which you can see that the sewage inlet is happening here from the first chamber, aeration chamber and due to the bubbling of the uh, first chamber by the compressor, the bubbles are formed and which eventually overflows it to the settling tank and then settling tank is recirculated back to the first chamber by the means of the venturi effect. This is the uh, basic concept. Afterwards, as you can see here, the final chamber, which is the chlorination chamber, here the clean sludge gets filled up. And here we have the float switch. You can see here the float switch, in which there are three floats namely, the high level alarm switch which is on the, on the top, the low level which is on the bottom most and in between is the high level switch. The low level is for the starting of the uh, is for the stopping of the pump. The discharge pump is here. You can see here the discharge pump. So discharge pump will st start when there is high level switch this the center one will get activated and the low level also when the low level will get activated the pump will get stopped and if the topmost float is lifted then it will turn into the alarm which is high level alarm so this is the basic uh, testing uh, of the sewage treatment plant which we will discuss in the video which is on an actual sewage treatment plant. Now you can see here the float switches on this plant are two and uh, inside the chambers the last chamber looks like this and the, the water is filled up in this fashion. This is a float switch which is uh, put inside. We have taken out the float switch you can see here the three floats and at the topmost is the high level then in between is the high level uh, alarm and bottommost is the low level. Now this one is our uh, blower coming to the final chamber which is emptied you can see well inside the level is already low. Okay. And uh, the floor switch is already out the alarm high high level high level switch the pump cutting and the final cutout this is the high level switch this is the low level switch for the pump stop and this for the high level alarm so now we will activate the high level alarm okay so now i have lifted it up now it will result into the alarm you can well read it is high high level okay to stop it i will make it again back to normal so you can see the alarm is gone next the discharge pump we will try out this is a discharge pump you can see here also in the diagram we saw so here i will lift both high level switch and the low level switch to cut in the pump now i lifted both of the ports up which is on this system now you can see the discharge pump has been started and the pump is in auto now to stop it i will simultaneously pull down both the floats you can see here now the discharge pump has been stopped so in this manner the uh, cutting in and cutting out operation of the pump is possible yeah you can see here the level switches on this Sewage treatment plant are two. So, the topmost is the alarm, high high level alarm. The middle is the high level, and the bottommost is the low level. Thank you so much. So